What is up everybody, Andrew Rooney here, I'm a full time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. We are back with part two of Mike Gammon's selections on early Scorpions songs. Now this is the message from Mike, second track on the Scorpions debut album 1972. More heavy Bill Ward and Sabbath influence is clear here. The song is It All Depends. Let's check it out. Oh, 100% Mike Gammon. That is Bill Ward all over and much more Sabbathy already than that previous tune. So really digging this so far. Right down to the shuffle. One other interesting observation, perhaps, I don't know, maybe I've got this right, maybe I've got it wrong. I felt like they were singing in a German accent in the previous song. Now we're in, singing in like an American accent, unless it was a different singer. Was he singing in German on the previous song? I can't even remember now. Let me know in the comments and I am prepared for the vitriol and the hate. Just you, you go, I mean, if you're feeling the hate, let it out. Like I'm basically like the emperor at this point. Just let the hate flow out of you. She's my love. She's my dear. Love Ooh, is good here. vocals. It's got like a Bo Diddley figure going on here and the rhythm on that on the guitar and the drums. Really, really cool. Really exciting song actually so far and very, very Black Sabbath-ish. Sabbath-ish? Yeah, that was right. Very much that comping style and real set up sort of bluesy jazz style that Bill Ward has. Digging this. <laughs> Crazy. Interesting with the panning that we've got on these older recordings. I think we've only got rhythm guitar on the right side and only the lead solo part on the left. Total Bill Ward fills. Very jazzy. tight band ensemble hits i'm going to back it up a little bit and with the percussion sort of that injection of percussion in that last minute or so i made an i made a mention of the two three clave that they brought in 
on that previous Scorpion song that I did, really using percussion in the sound to widen the sound and make it a bit more, just a bit bigger in some of those sections. It really takes the music to another place when you add in all that percussion. Percussion is such an underestimated part of music, I think. Even just sometimes, even just adding tambourine can add so much. But yeah, there's a, there is a lot going on here. With a big button. Uh, Mike Yemen, thank you as always for the continued support and these two very, very early Scorpion songs. Full transparency, I much preferred that one, that second selection over the first one, just personal preference. And that's just on a first time listen. There was more to get my teeth into. Um, actually, I think it kind of helped not having the video for that one. Um, could just really focus on the audio and... Um, <laughs> not get distracted by the wonderful hairdos 70s-ness of those uh, early videos that was really really good and Mike it's a really keen observation on the Black Sabbath similarity you've obviously made a whole heap of Black Sabbath suggestions and requests on the channel um, and now you're sending me groups that were probably influenced by sabbath so this is just a whole complicated web it's like this tree is growing this black sabbath started this movement and now it's gone off into all kinds of weird places and um, i can really really hear it there even down to the recording sound the real live sound there was a few times i could almost hear i don't want to call them mistakes because people get their back up about that word Especially now in 2023, you're not allowed to make mistakes in music. You cannot be human. You have to be a computer. But I could hear, and, and then, uh, no, not so much in the previous one, but a few clicks, stick clicks, and sort of mishits and not middling toms, and beautiful. Beautiful. That's why we give this old music repeat listens, because there is humanity, there is realness there. There really was a lot there to dissect. Um, and we'd need another listen on that one, I think, to give any kind of analysis or feedback. There was a lot of different approaches to grooves, a lot of different approaches to setups and fills, different subdivisions, and just, yeah, a real Bill Ward at the end. He was going onto the bottom triplets, you know, using his feet in a linear style in the in the fills as well as just fast hands around the toms heaps of cool stuff great song loved it guys if you dug this video please do consider subscribing hitting that like button and leaving a comment with what you think of this video what i should check out in the future and honestly any more feedback and info that you have about the scorpions i can google this stuff but it's more interesting if we talk about it in the comment section you let me know if you would like to support my channel, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get access to all the blocked videos. If anyone out there does have a direct reaction request that you want to guarantee gets on the channel, I can only guarantee at the moment through the PayPal link. And remember, you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at Drumio. Link in the description. Guys, until next time, take care. Keep chopping wood. Ciao.